let's see a visual proof of an interesting inequality using the unit circle. In the Cartesian plane, label the origin O. Start with a radius of length 1 and draw a unit circle centered at O like this. Let's label the point on the x-axis by A. Imagine a point P on the unit circle in the first quadrant, corresponding to rotating an angle of T. If we drop a perpendicular from P to the x-axis and label the intersection point M, then the length of the line PM is the sine of T by the definition of sine. Now use the line PM to generate a circle centered at M with radius sine of T. Call the intersection point of that circle in the x-axis B, and label the other intersection point between the two circles Q. Notice that the point Q lies directly below the point P, so that they're antipodal points on the circle of radius sine t. In this diagram, we see that the length of the line segment OM plus the length of the line segment MP is equal to the length of the line segment OB, and this is greater than or equal to the length of the line segment OA. From these facts, we can see that the arc length of the arc PBQ is greater than or equal to the arc length of the arc PAQ, and that in turn is greater than or equal to the length of the chord PQ. By construction, the arc PBQ is the semicircle of a circle with radius sine t, and therefore has a length of pi times sine t. The arc PAQ is two copies of the arc PA, subtending the angle t, and therefore the arc PAQ has a length of 2t. And finally, the length of the chord PQ is equal to 2 times the length of the line PM, which is sine of t. And therefore, the chord length PQ is 2 times the sine of t. From this argument, we see that pi of sine of t is greater than or equal to 2t, which is greater than or equal to 2 times the sine of t. From the latter inequality, we see that 2 times the sine of t is less than or equal to 2t, so that sine of t is less than or equal to t. From the first inequality, we see that 2 times t is less than or equal to pi times the sine of t, so that 2t divided by pi is less than or equal to sine of t. When we glue these two together, we see that 2t over pi is less than or equal to sine of t, which is less than or equal to t. Notice this is only true if the angle t is in the first quadrant, so t lies between 0 and pi over 2. This inequality is known as Jordan's inequality. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, check out my playlist on other mathematical inequalities, and consider subscribing to the channel.